That's why fiesta natin minsan buwan. Diba? So that's the same thing with investment. So, with all of that, what are our common errors? We're so fixated on long term. As if we're a fund. We are not a fund. We are people. And people exist both in long, medium, in all. Short, medium, long, people exist. At some point, your long term becomes medium term, your medium becomes short, your short becomes now. <coughs> and yet, whenever you talk about investing, we always say long term. Umakit ang investment mo, bebenta mo, hindi. Bakit? Long term ako. Nalaglag investment mo, lugi lugi ka, bebenta mo, hindi. Bakit? Long term ako. So, ano gagawin mo? Long term ako eh. <laughs> Ito mo ng numero. Allergic tayo sa numero eh. The good part na is with apps. You don't have to be good at it anymore. You just have to understand. And we don't communicate with our staff. I know it's a technical term. Basically, when we make a financial decision, we don't talk with our family about it. They are the other stakeholders. Basta. I am the guy. This is what we do. Ako yung nagsusuporta sa inyo, ito gawin mo. Ako nagpapakain sa iyo. Basta gawin mo to. Makes the discussion hard. So, as we begin to wind up, baan ba ito ginagawa again? We're go I hope I'll be seeing you for the rest of the program. So why? It's going to cut into your other events, especially since it will always be on a Saturday. There will always be something more fun than listening to me on a Saturday afternoon, definitely. So why are you going to do it? Well, there has to be a reason. You have to find that reason. Otherwise, honestly, you will be wasting your time. You will be. What do you want to happen at the end of this book? We want you to blog about it. We want you to write about it. So you remind yourself also why you need this and what you want to about. To be honest, I don't know how many of you will succeed. This is the first time we're going to run this thing. I really don't know. I hope more than half at least will. But we also want to know about the failures. Because I really believe sometimes we learn more from those. Bakit hindi? Ano ba yung naging problem? Kasi ba? Hindi magaling yung nakausap mga advisor, hindi ayusin natin. Kasi ba wala talagang produkto, then maybe we can start creating the demand for those products to be created. But we have to know what people are looking for. Ano ba yung nahanap? Ano ba yung gusto? Ano ba yung dahilan? Para maayos. Para hindi tayo naghulaan. We have to have that discussion. In this, long term is a strategy. Tough decisions. In the investing world, what do you think the most difficult thing is? <coughs> it's to take profits. Yeah. It's to take profits. Kasi pag kumikita ka na, ayan na eh. Kukunin mo na ba? Eh kung umakyat pa, will you feel bad? Diba? Laki na kinikita mo eh. Dobin mo na pera mo. Binenta mo, ay umakyat pa. Do you feel bad? Yes. Why? Diba? Ano yung double dragon na stock? Yes. Ngayon. <laughs> Magkano yung offer yun? Dalawang piso. Magkano na ngayon? 63. Dalawang taon pa lang yan, ha? So, kung ikaw nakabili ng dalawang piso, nung unang bulusok niya, from 2 pesos, nag 10 piso yan. <coughs> na benta mo sa 10 piso. So ang saya mo. Ngayon 63 na yan, masaya ka pa rin? <laughs> Bakit? Sayang eh. Pero for a while, kasi na 10 piso, bumalik yan ng 7, then lalong mas masaya ka pa. Tapos ngayon nag 60, hindi na masaya. No. The question is, did that money achieve what you wanted it to do? If it did, 
No matter. What's the problem? But so many people <coughs> invest without that. Kaya hindi malaman. Kung kumikita yung mga bebenta ko, hindi ko alam. Tatan mo sa advisor, bebenta ko na pang malay mo advisor. Ano mga gusto mo sa buhay? Diba? That's what I mean. Whenever someone asks me, o oh, ayan, ngayon. Nag-8,000 like na naman yung index. It's at 8,030. The Dow Jones of the U.S. just set another record also. Pag Monday, baka umakyat pa tayo. Ano, mabibenda na ba? Pati tensa mga tao. Baka malaglag eh. Bakit? Ano ba ito? Contest? Diba? Is it a contest kung para niya ng pera o contest na sino ang makuha kayo na? You can take a lot of money, pero kunan din sa kailangan mo. Did you still win? You can make 5 million pesos, but if you needed 10, what happens? Or the reverse. You can make just half a million, but if you only need a quarter million, who's actually in a better position? That's if you have to try things to the game. Ano yung workshop natin? Pag-usapan natin mo ngayon. Di ba yan ang malaking balita? Because we have to learn to relate with these things. Because these are the things that determine and influence the environment we need it. That is your mind, Brexit. Tapos may bagong version niyan, pag-usapan niya natin ng konti, yung Chexit. Yung Chexit. So, ano mo na yung Brexit na yan? Unang-una, pag-usapan ito ang understand Brexit, tapos alam niyo muna, ba yung EU? Used to be 28 countries, now it's 27. Now it's 27. The problem is, EU laws will generally supersede the individual countries' laws. Then it's using that problem. Especially when you talk about fiscal policies or how each country spends their money. <coughs> ano ba yung kinaputok ng issue ng Britain? Many issues, but one of the biggest was immigration. Because according to the EU law, once you have an EU passport, you are allowed to go to any EU country without a visa. It's supposed to make it easy to move labor, promote tourism, and all of these things. Ano problema? Eh, ang daming refugee na nagpunta sa road. Kaya mga hanggang ngayon, people die every day, try to get to Greece, Italy, and all these places to get an EU passport so we can go to Germany and all the other more prosperous countries. So what's the problem with that? A lot of these people, number one, really do not have any assets when they move. The refugees. So what do they bring? Nothing. In fact, they will be a burden. Because most of them also do not speak the local language. So you have no assets. It's hard to employ you because you do not speak the language. What exactly can you contribute to that economy? And then there is a very real danger that you just might be a terrorist. Kung kayo may bahay kayo, and someone comes to your house and tells you how to live, that's Britain's argument. Who are, who are they referring to? Muslims. Because the Muslims, when they get to Britain, they expect the British to adjust to their beliefs without them having to adjust to the British beliefs. That is their expectation when they get there. Do you think that's fair? What do you think? Do you think? It's not the only issue, but it's a big issue. Because the Muslims were saying, you have to take down that crucifix because we're Muslim, that offends me. Whereas if you go to their country and you say that, they will chop off your head. So do you think that is an equitable arrangement? That is where the British started getting mad. That is one of the reasons why Brexit happened. It's not the only one, but that is one of the big reasons. 
And I can understand that. How would you feel if that is the arrangement? And you cannot so and you cannot say no to these people for coming to your place. You cannot because they have an EU passport that was given by another country, not even you. And they suddenly have the same rights as your citizens. And in some cases, even more rights than your citizens. When you accept that situation. The argument on Brexit. The economic argument then. Britain is required to pay as part of the EU money to the EU fund that will be spent by everyone. So why? Ako, matitipid ako, yung magastos, paano kayo susuportahan yun? I think many have had a relative na lagi nalang utang ng utang. Have you ever had that experience? Kamag-anak na utang nalang ng utang and palagi nalang promise last time na. Tapos not only hindi magbabayad, pag sinigil mo magagalit pa sa'yo, then after a while, pumutang ulit pero promise last time na. That's Greece, by the way. That's Greece. Puutang, gagastos eh. Pag siningin mo, magagalit. Pag naubos na yung inutang, puutang ulit. Last time na, promise. Tapos lahat ipapangako, para pautangin din, oo, hindi na kong gagalit, oo, hindi na kong gagalit. Pero bigyan mo na yung pera, please, promise last na to. Pag nabigyan na, teka, teka, hindi na yung pinapagawa mo eh. Doon din nagsimulaan ka. So Brexit happened. 